What's going on Yu-Gi-Oh fans, Platinum Cards in the house and this market is doing what the market does best. It is going haywire, it's going bonkers. Some of you might have missed out on these sales, some of you might want to capitalize and sell your stuff while it's really really hot. So let's go ahead and take a look at these cards. So first of all we got ourselves the Hidden City. Um, sub terror support, I actually just picked up a bunch of sub terror support last night because I wanted to mess around with the deck. Um, I just didn't do a little bit of research on this card so it was at one point around three dollars and 26 cents since october 7th and then has just popped up to around five ish dollars market price right now is about five ish dollars seems like yesterday uh the sales were going for around five ish dollars however when we take a look here the near mint uh version that we can get at the cheapest right now is 386 so definitely i feel like maybe it has rebounded a bit or it will rebound a bit toward that price um, there are only three, two, eight, three, eighty-six listings, though, as it does quickly hop into the four-dollar range, and that's interesting. How many listings do we have here? Is there a way to tell? I always forget. Fifty-two listings. Okay, yeah, so that's definitely low in terms of listings. Um, it's probably a Black Friday thing, what I'm thinking, but the prices have been going up since way before that. So, um, at least the listing things is probably a Black Friday thing. So, hopefully, we'll get a couple more listings in there. That'll be that'll be nice. But this deck does have potential to mess with a lot of like meta decks. So, I can completely see why people are uh, picking up this support to be able to run at their local tournament. Next is a card we've looked at a couple different times on this channel, Astral Karibo. I think last time we looked at it, it was hovering around the maybe the seven to eight dollar mark, and now this is crazy because it is just shot up at two insane amounts. This is a about $11 is what you're going to get with shipping included. And let's see, how quickly does it get to? No, it seems like there's a decent amount of listings at $11, but there's only 44 listings in total. Um, this is something I might be tempted to sell myself, but I only have a playset and I kind of like to hold on to it for the deck profiles that I do because a lot of different decks that I use um, do use this card. Um, but if I were to sell it, I may be willing to sell it after the or around the time that the new Shatria support comes out because that deck does use this card. However, I haven't messed around with a new deck yet, so I don't know how 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 much people use this card in that deck it's possible that they just run shatria by themselves in general so that'll that'll take some a little bit of research on my end but it may be worth selling this card soon number three we got ourselves yoko the graceful makiashi out of hidden summoners i'm pretty sure i have one of these lying around somewhere um i typed in the name and i don't there usually there's an option for see other printings and whatnot so i'm assuming based on that this is the only printing of the card which probably contributed to its rise so as we see here it was once a two maybe three dollar card and it has definitely shot up and looks like yesterday and early today it's been selling for about the seven dollar range yep and seven and a half about eight dollars seems to be and even up to nine dollars seems to be what we're looking at but there are only 44 listings 32 i don't know why i said 44 there are only 32 listings of this card this is one that i'm going to be pulling out of my uh, book and I'm probably going to be selling as soon as possible. This is more on here for my personal reasons because this is one of the cards I pulled out of Grand Creators and so I'm hoping to see it go up in price so I can sell it. However, it seems the peak for this card was about October 10th ish and since then it has gone down and has stabilized at around the $10 range and I don't know why it shows ones of other languages because I have the filter for English on. Seems like about $10.45, $11 is seems to be about that range which i guess is good because then it's cheaper for most people to play but if you're like me and you're just trying to flip it then it's not as good as you'd expect um considering that it's definitely seen a little bit more play now um this is something i would expect to maybe go up in price but i'm definitely not the master of this card or this deck or how good it is because I, i've just i'm holding on to it just to flip brotherhood of the fire fist eagle and this card definitely does help you uh, its effect is um, you can activate the Fire Fist monster's effects without sending Fire Fist to Fire Formations cards from your hand or field of the graveyard. You can target one Fire Formation spell or trap you control, or in your graveyard, return it to the hand, then send one Fire Formation monster from your deck to the graveyard. And as we know, Fire Formation 10 key is no longer limited, so that probably has a part to do with it. And definitely does seem like around the boundless time, it, it has shot up a bit in price. So it looks like the recent sales have been about... 549 548 so around five and a half bucks heavily played uh lightly played so near mint is about yep it's reaching that six ish dollar mark so definitely one to keep an eye on and might be one that i'm actually interested in picking up because brotherhoods are are kind of fun. lastly we have harpy's feather storm with the birds looking to run havoc again 
especially with that new ban list with the uh, uh, Dimensional Fisher and Macrocosmos at three, you can bet Flounderies and Harpy's Featherstorm, spe especially Harpy's Featherstorm. Flounderies cards, for the most part, will not go up in price just because they've been reprinted. So, but Harpy's Featherstorm is one that, look at this, 11 listings, 19 listings, 18 listings. People are trying to get their hands on this card. And I think I picked, I have two of them. I believe I picked up the commons. They were around maybe three-ish dollars, and now they're around eight dollars, seven fourteen for the ultra rare. This is probably like a damaged-ish version, so I'm assuming like um, the more cards will probably be around the ten dollar range. And then the super rare for about nine ninety nine. This is insane. This is definitely a card that, if you got the money for, is definitely worth putting in your Flunderies deck. However, if you're like me and you're not going to spend this type of money, then it's possible that you might have missed a gun on this one, and it might be best to wait for a reprint. All right, guys, this is Plotter Ricard signing out for the day. Uh, if you like what you see, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. And always, you can let me know in the comments any other cards that you would like to take a look at. It's definitely worth uh, talk, having that conversation or any other cards that you feel like, hey, um, you might have missed this or this is something that I want to take a look at. Hey, we can we can take a look at that in future videos. And of course, any other reasons for any of these cards going up that I might have missed. Love to hear about that as well. But anyways, guys, this is Plotter Ricard signing out for the day. And we will see you in the next video.